people don't know that LeBron actually contacted you to kind of see what type of player Bronny is when he was way younger. Um, mm -hmm. What was that interaction? Like, I'm, I'm fascinated by LeBron James contacting you. I, I know that you had a good relationship, even though you were you battled in the playoffs. But talk a bit more about that, how, how that whole thing came out. It's just like anything in 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 competition, right? Um, when you're looking at as as a content creator, right? You you have someone that you look at. Definitely. You have someone that does something different than you, and you try to figure out what it is, and you respect the Absolutely. details that they're bringing in. Same thing, you know, in basketball. Um, we watched each other's talent. We're we're trying to see like who can outsmart who. So, you know, when LeBron came to town, you know, he can't be the teacher because he still has his, you know, his professional career that he has to put his mind to. He's still a father. So he's he's looking because he wants to make sure, like, am I looking at my son the right way? What's going on? Like, I what am I missing? So he reaches out, hey, my son is gonna be playing in practicing over there. Can you take a look at him and give me what you think? Because he knows I'm going to give him the real deal. I'm not going to like sugarcoat. He, he wants to, he wants someone to really give him a real fair ranking and fair evaluation. And he knows I'm going to do it. So, you know, I go watch it. Um, this is when? A few years ago? This is, so Bronny is coming into his first, his first freshman year. Okay. So this is when he got to town. So that 2000, what, 1920. So I'm just, you know, that summer I'm watching them, you know, um, and and I can see all the raw ability. Um, and it, it was one of those things where I remember um, we're at UCLA. I got, you know, I got this transitional one-on-one, one-on-one -on -one game, make it, take it. You just keep, you got to keep going. Like, you know, first one to 21, but you're playing like full court. So it's full court, one-on-one-on-one. -on -one -on -one. He lost like – Two straight games. One game he didn't score. And I sat here and said, I'm sorry. Listen, <laughs> are you LeBron James Jr., bro? Uh, you're LeBron James Jr., right? Trying to light that fire. You, you're this, like, you, you have this, this beast inside of you. Like, won't you let it out? Fuck them. How about that? Fuck them. I don't want them to score no more. If, you, if they don't score no more, right? I said, if they score again, you got to do this. I don't want no one to touch the ball. And he was like, all right, deal, deal, deal. All right, all right, all right. And oh my God, <laughs> no one touched the ball. Like he was doing like, it was like he turned into like some Westbrook Kawhi Leonard. Like he did a Euro where he bounced the ball. And when he bounced it, he cuffed it like, and, uh, uh, and then was just at the rim. And I'm sitting here like, like what? These are two different players. This is not even this is not even the same kid like last game. This is a hold and just the stuff he was doing. It was just hard pounding, step back. And I'm just sitting here. I hit LeBron's like, yo, uh, yeah, I, I don't. Yeah, you don't have to worry about this kid, bro. <laughs> like this is like the stuff I just seen. This is just unreal. The only downfall is pulling it out of him. Like he's so unselfish that it, it hurts him and it will hurt the team because you have a real animal built inside that can be unstoppable if it's triggered. Quick time out to give a shout out to Sorer NBA for sponsoring this video and for setting up the Heat Check Private League where you can compete against me and others in the community to win prizes like NBA store gift cards. This is my common card lineup and I'm trusting Jokic to continue strong and chase that MVP. You also get 20 common cards at sign up to assemble your team and compete against others to win higher rated cards and other rewards. Just watch this score that each player has and stay within the point cap. The cap is a great measure to prevent creating super teams. The MVP of your team, which is the player with the highest score, doesn't count towards your cap, so you get a break there. Now I also got a team of limited cards, this is it right here. 
You can do that by getting some of the limited, rare, super rare or unique cards off of the marketplace. As you can see, they provide a nice boost to your points and unlock higher levels of competition. We got 200 members in the Heat Check Private League and the winner of the limited contender tournament of game week 44 will receive a $150 gift card. But there will still be awards for other weeks, so click the link in the description and join me and my community and compete against us. Thanks so rare for sponsoring this video. So what ends up what 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 ends up happening is you have a guy who's capable, his body, his he's capable of having 30, you know, 36 and 6. He can average, he can average that. But he thinks it's okay. He 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 likes everyone that he will average 12, 10, and 5. Because he wants to, he's going to make the right play. And, you know, and that, and, you know, it was trying to tell him, like, sometimes the right play is you being dominant. That is the right play. You know, so what ends up happening is he doesn't get a fair shake because he's always played with high level players that no one's actually ever seen his full potential. And that's the real downfall. Someone, someone says, oh, he's a top 10 player. I'm like, yeah. Yeah, he's, not, he's a top 10 player. Yeah. So, He's never he, been in a situation to to so you can actually see him average thirty, right? So he's climbing up the rankings. Where do you see him on the on the draft board when he when he decides or he finally can commit to the draft? Where do you see him? What range? So when he has to, so what happens with the draft board with him? Uh, like going through, like um, when he has to compete against other players, he's by himself. Which means he he don't he he has to do him, and I think that's where he's going to shoot up at. Um, you got what he can't come in this year is next year. I feel like um, next year is the first year that he can come. First in. year, you know. Yeah. So going to college, um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't. I don't know what they would. I don't know what what they would do. I don't know if he would go to college. If he would go to the G League to train for two or to, to train for the year as an NBA player, mm -hmm. get ready for the draft, that makes the most sense to me. Um, that you put him in the G League and you just prep him for the draft, like so he has an advantage. Like the the, the advantage over a college player is while you're in class, he gets to train, so he puts in more reps, more reps than you actually can. That's what benefits him. Um, being out of the spotlight because on college or on national TV, you know, you know, you, you lose that aspect of it. So I'll be surprised if he's not a lottery pick because he has to like, because he has to work out for the draft. And once you see him work out, then you will see what he actually has. The way I see him, I know you, you, you can see the game much better than me, but he kind of looks to me like a guy, like, um, like Drew Holiday or like a strong guard, you know, he's, I wouldn't say that he's going to be like a bigger forward type like LeBron is. I, I don't see him getting to that, to that size, but like a strong big guard like Drew Holiday, I see him, that's his but, player comp to me. Yes, and that's the funny part. That's his player comp, which his comp should be Westbrook that plays like Drew Holiday. Oh, okay. Because you got he doesn't have, Drew the mentality. Does, no, Drew Holiday doesn't have his athletic ability. Oh, okay. He moves like when you think about explosion, and that's Westbrook's explosion. He jumps and does the the all that athletic. Drew Holiday doesn't do that. <laughs> right. So it's 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 he has the the Westbrook for guards. You know the John Moran those. That's the type of athleticism he has with Drew Holiday's mentality of trying to run the offense. So that it's a it's a bigger, it's a bigger, it's a bigger cap than you would think. You know, when you talk about Drew Holiday, you're not, you know, now let's say Drew Holiday has Westbrook jumping ability. It becomes a different player. You know, so it's like you'll take the 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 downward. He has this ability, but he plays here. Higher ceiling for for Brian. He has a higher. He, he will have a higher ceiling than Drew Holiday, but he's at Drew Holiday's, you know, style. And I understand. I understand.